Hey y'all, today I'm going to be doing a tag video and this is the Lip Product Addict Tag. And this tag I think was created by Essie Button and Liana Beauty if I remember correctly. I'll leave their video down below so you can see that. But when I saw it I just thought this would be the perfect tag for me to do because I'm clearly a lip product addict. And the other lip product tag that was going around, somebody asked me to do it but it was just... I thought it was a little bit too much because you had to like count all your lipsticks and I didn't want to go through all that. So hopefully you guys enjoy this video. First, I do want to say let me address what I have on. I know you've seen this outfit and stuff in a different video, but I had to film a couple videos in a day because I'm actually probably going to be out of town when you see this video. And so I tried to kind of pre-film some videos to go up while I'm away. So now that that's out of the way, let's go ahead and get to the tag. Okay, so this question is probably not going to be a surprise to any of you who've watched my recent videos, but I'm choosing the NUX Paris Rev de Mille Balm, which is like a honey balm. <sighs> smells delicious. Oh my gosh. But what I really like about it is that it really penetrates my lips and keeps them moisturized for hours upon hours like I put this on at night and in the morning my lips feel so soft and I can still feel remnants of this balm on my lips so this is awesome it's an expensive balm $16 but that's not that expensive compared to some other balms that I've seen and tried and it's absolutely the most amazing lip balm I've ever tried So if you've been watching my videos a long time, this one will not be a surprise either. But my favorite eye-catching red is Dragon Girl by NARS. So this is what it looks like. I don't wear red very often, but when I do, this is the one that I always want to wear. I make myself try others, but this is the one that I always turn back to. I just think it's the perfect red for my skin tone. It's bright, but not like siren red, I don't think. And... It just looks so perfect against my skin. I don't I don't know. It makes my teeth look white. And it's perfect. I mean, I, it's red is one of those colors that is kind of hard for people to find their perfect red. And I think I found mine in this one. So this is always going to be in my stash. The luxury portion of this question. I would have to say I'm going to choose the YSL Glossy Stain in number 27. This is actually the first Glossy Stain I tried and it's still my favorite out of the ones that I have. And these are really expensive, but I think they're worth it. It goes on glossy, stays on my lips forever, stays glossy the entire time, and it just makes my lips look, it makes them look full. It doesn't accentuate any fine lines, it's not drying at all and it's just perfect. For my best drugstore lip product, I'm gonna go with the Maybelline The Buffs Lipstick and this is in the shade Stormy Sahara and I have a whole video showing you swatches of these that I own but this is my favorite out of the ones that I have and these are very, I don't want to say moisturizing but they're not drying at all. They go on really smoothly and easily. They feel like a higher end lipstick which is what really impressed me about these. The colors are really easy to work with. I'm sure, whatever skin tone you are, I'm sure they have at least one new that you can work with. I was able to get away with like four of them. So, yeah, I really think these are awesome drugstore lip products. And if you're looking for a lower end new lipstick, you have to go check out these. So my favorite MAC lipstick is what I'm actually wearing today. And it is Ravishing by MAC. And... I decided to wear this lip product in this video because I just felt like it was fitting. This has been like my favorite lipstick for the past couple years and I just thought it would be fitting to wear this one in this video. So this is how it looks on my lips. I'll still swatch it for you. So it's just a pretty like coral uh, peachy tone. But sometimes these kind of colors can be too stark on dark skin but i think this one works for dark skin tones light skin tones you name it it works and i just think it's gorgeous love it this category is a little bit hard for me to choose because a lot of lip products are not extremely disappointing to me and if they are i'm 
probably took it back by now or got rid of it but there was one product that I still have that was disappointing to me and I got it in a set and this is actually the Kat Von D Everlasting Love Lipstick, Liquid Lipstick and Backstage Bambi. Now Kat Von D has recently reformulated all of her liquid lipsticks. So I have not tried the new version. This is the old version and I do not like it. The color is pretty but on my lips it just looks like I have a highlighter on my lips. It just does not look right. And the finish when it dries down it tends to accentuate the lines of my lips and I know it's a stain and I know that for a lot of people they have that problem but I wear stains a lot and I was I'm disappointed with how it looks because I like the way stains look but this one is just not flattering on me and I have some in the newer packaging the new reformulated ones and those have a much different finish than this one does this one is drying and will accentuate lines whereas the new ones are very smooth and have like that chalkboard matte type of finish so I'm not sure if the new one of this, of this particular color is better but I, I'm probably still I'm not gonna get it because the color I felt was just too neon on my lips that I just felt like I couldn't get away with it I know you could put it with a liner but if anybody's ever tried to wear a liner with a lip stain it's not very comfortable and it's kind of weird so yeah, I'm not doing all that. Um, liner, yes or no? I'm going to go for no. I have some lip liners and I wear them every now and then. But typically on an everyday basis, I don't wear lip liner. I probably wear lip liner once every month to two months. <laughs> and those are only with certain colors. Like I do have this one lip liner from MAC that I like. Let's see if I can find it. Okay, so the one lip liner that I really do like is this um, one from MAC. is Fashion Boost and it's one of the Pro Long Wear Lip Pencils. And I like it because of the color and it lasts all day. It doesn't fade at all. Um, and it keeps my lip color that I put on top of it on all day so that I don't get that little ring around my lips when the product starts wearing off. So this is the only one I like, but like I said, I only wear it like once every one or two months. So for this category, I actually kind of cheated a little bit because my best gloss that I initially picked is a higher end gloss but I wanted to show you all a drugstore alternative as well because I know glosses are one of those things that sometimes aren't really worth the money for a lot of people. So the one I initially chose is this Buxom Gloss and it is called Creamsicle and I've mentioned this time and time and time again. I know y'all tired of hearing about it but I love these. They're minty, they're supposed to be plumping but they don't really plump my lips, they just kind of smooth it out. So it just makes them look like juicy and nice. So yeah, this one is my favorite. Let me swatch it for you. That's the color. And I own this particular gloss in about three or four shades. Um, but this is my favorite of the ones I own. So this would be my choice for my best gloss. But the other one that I want to show you is a drugstore gloss that kind of gives me the same effect meaning the way the lip gloss looks on me like it looks shiny but still pigmented and it makes my lips look plump and it's not very drying um, and that is the Milani Brilliant Shine Lip Glosses and this one is in the shade Coral Crush but I have this in about three or four shades and all of them are beautiful this is one of the ones that does not have any sparkle in it and it's just very very nice on the lips and I think a lot of people can get away with the colors that they have. They have a they have a good range of colors. They have probably about 10 or 12 colors or so. Um, so I think you'll definitely be able to find a color you like. So for my something extra, I decided to throw in a product that's kind of like a hybrid between lipstick, a lip gloss, and I absolutely love it, but I haven't had it too long, which is why I felt like I couldn't really put it into one of the favorite categories. But this is the Dior Fluid Stick, and I have the shade number 373 Reuse. That'll be down below. 
But by the time this video goes up, hopefully you would have seen my blog post. If not, then when the blog post goes up, I'll put it down below. But spoiler alert, I love it. This is absolutely a gorgeous lip color. These feel so comfortable on. And they last a, a good amount of time. It's not like a regular gloss. It is truly a hybrid. It has the color of a lipstick. But the shine of a gloss, they feel really comfortable going on. They're not drying. They last a long amount of time. And I definitely want more colors. Unfortunately, I'm kind of on a no-buy right now, so I haven't gotten any more. But eventually, I will get some more. But it's just a gorgeous color. So that's it for this video. If you do this tag, please leave me a link to your video down below. I tag everybody. I'm not tagging anybody in particular because I feel like with tag videos, if you want to do it, you just do it. I was not tagged by anybody in particular. I just wanted to do it, so I did it. So, yeah. <laughs> but anyway, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.